Pardon the interruption. I'd quickly just like to say a big thank you to all of you who've been watching and interacting with my channel. I have seen a lot of growth on the channel lately. And whilst in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing special to me. It really does mean a lot. So thank you very much. Um, and on to the, the real reason for this little speech is I'm looking to expand my track guides, taking it from solely the MX-5 to another series on iRacing. So there's two options. If you look in this corner, there'll be a little voting option, a little poll. Uh, the first car that you've got to choose from is the Skip Barber, the good old Skippy. And the second car, number two, is the Delara F3. Now, I must specify that the Delara F3 will be for the pure driving school fixed setup series. So there won't be any magic or top secret setups given out. And obviously the Skippy setups, they're readily available. So we should all be able to get our hands on them. But yeah, there are your two options. Let me know in the poll and stay tuned for the results. Let's get back to the MX-5 action. We cross the line in 5th gear, line up the car on the left hand side of the track and start looking for that number 2 board. We brake at the 2 board, downshift to 3rd gear and we trail brake a lot. You want to take a tight line here, think of turn 1 as two, 2 separate turns or in 2 parts. The first part you're decelerating, the second part you're accelerating through. If you clip the kerb on the inside it will unsettle the car so modulate the throttle accordingly. Turn 2 is all about taking as tight a line as possible. Trail brake in 3rd gear, apply some throttle under braking if you do need to steady the car and you want to line the car up to stick to the left hand side of the track. You need to be as early on the throttle as possible. For turn 3, you turn in, trying to get as close to the kerb on the inside as possible without touching it and you may need to lift off the throttle here to stop the car from losing traction depending on the session you're in, so keep that in mind. After turn 3 we've got this small straight, we shift up to 4th gear and we brace ourselves for the first chicane. There's a kink in the white line on the left hand side of the track, that's our brake marker. We brake hard, down to second gear, using all of the kerb on the outside to open up the turn as much as possible, and we try to get back on the power as early as possible without smashing into any of those nasty sausage kerbs. And we're up through the gears and onto the second chicane. Approaching the turn in fourth gear, we line up on the left hand side again. We try and spot a braking point. You can use the drive faster sign to our left, the cones to our right, or a combination of everything you see, your peripheral vision. For me, it's more of a feeling or timing for the braking on this turn. I know it's not ideal, but that's one of the reasons why this chicane is so awkward. If anyone watching can be of any help at the braking point for this, then please let me know in the comments, it'd be very helpful. We're braking into second gear, we keep the car in the centre of the track for the first part of this turn, and then we trail brake to get the car rotated and lined up to try and straight line the chicane as much as possible. As soon as you know you're all lined up, full power. If you clip the kerbs awkwardly, you will need to lift off the throttle here to keep the car stable. Once you've survived that holy mess, you're on the home straight. Well, almost. Just one slight bend, which is full throttle in fourth gear. You can get nice and smooth, avoiding the kerb on the inside as best we can. Then leave it in fourth, crossing the line, and bang. 105.51. So there we have it. Hope everyone found that useful. As always, please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and even leave a comment down below. The uninterrupted cockpit and chase cam laps are going to play through in full now. Remember to vote in the poll, have a great race week, and I'll catch you next time.